Hey, it's your boy Sean, and I gotta come up with a new intro. Welcome to Super Custom Hood. And today, we're gonna do a golden opportunities on me and whether I miss my golden opportunity on buying a, my first sports car. And it's looking like that's gonna be a yeah because it is dry right now. There's nothing, nothing in my price range out there at least nothing that i would actually whip around and i don't know what the issue is i don't know if you know all the um other youtubers have just bought up all the cheapest sports cars so they can say they bought the cheapest this that in the third in the country they could have or if it's just nothing out there and I got to wait for the summer when my savings are a little bit higher. Because I'm looking in the direction of Porsche. I'm looking in the direction of Fords, Chevys, Mercedes, maybe even another BMW. Even though this one that I'm in right now is giving me all types of problems. I really don't want to get into another one. Even though I do like this little dirty car and everything you know i've gotten from it i probably had better than i had worse with this car but uh, yeah i don't think i want the trouble of trying to maintain another one of these engines because if i did get a you know another bmw the price range and what i have saved would be in the same year with the same engine and uh i don't think i can put up with that so i'm gonna try something more affordable something more american really but uh, i'm thinking like mustang gt of course nothing new because that's like forty thousand dollars from when i seen online like, yeah, i don't think so i don't think so so yeah but of course c5 c6 c7 c8 of course i can't afford a c7 c c8 or a c6 and barely can afford a c5 and i've seen some call for them of course the listings were always old cars long gone and you know to be right there right in my price price range and somebody comes up snaps it off it's like I don't think they have bots online buying up used cars because that would suck. It's not a PS5. But it seems like there are people out there that are looking to get these sports cars for the low so they can fix up whatever little bit it needs fixed and then flip it. Try to flip it back to me. And I'm not about to be buying no flipped car. I'm going to be looking at the car face. Oh, you that guy that bought that, that Corvette from me. I'm not buying that. <laughs> so, yeah. It's just looking like I missed my golden opportunity when it came to buying a sports car. I should have jumped on the wagon um, last year when it was cars out here that I could afford. And there's been times where there have been cars online that were selling for like twelve, thirteen thousand, and I was broke. I'm talking about a while ago. It's had to been like five years ago or something there was um a viper srt for sale the person went twelve thousand dollars i'm looking like what what's wrong with it why are they selling it for that it had to be some type of salvage history something like that and i don't think that was the case i think somebody was just desperate and wanted to get rid of it could have been an accident history, but I didn't see any on the Carfax or nothing like that. And I was broke. I was thinking about calling up everybody in my family I knew that had a little bit of change and be like, listen, if I get this Viper, it'll be over for everything. And I'll pay you back full stock. Just let me get that money. But I didn't do that. I put my pride to the side and I thought better. And I was like, you know what? It best not to be getting debt to people I know because... I'm not going to be able to pay him back. But now, I don't got that 12000 but 
close enough to where I could put enough money on it that I would be able to pay for it no problem within a year and uh, be happy with it. But there's a lot of stuff like that. Like there was a Corvette for around 6000 earlier this month and I missed it by seconds because somebody else called and bought it that same day it was listed. I was like, damn, I was sick. But, you know, it's probably for the best. There's probably a lot of issues with that car. No telling. And, you know, I just had to keep looking. But it does seem like I did miss my golden opportunity to buy the right sports car before the summer hits. So I'm going to be in this BMW for the foreseeable future. I know it sucks. I'm kind of hoping that the channel takes off just a little bit. Not enough to get me paid a bunch of money so I can be like, oh, I'm balling now. Y'all look at me. Look at me. I'm about to go buy a Lambo. Nah, just a little bit just to give me a, a boost <laughs> to my uh, ego or whatever. I don't even got to be a boost to the ego. It just to be a, a small little thing. But, yeah, it's not looking like it's going down. And the struggle, for real, for real, is real, for real. And yeah but yeah this is my golden opportunity i should have jumped on last year where the prices was right and i i don't know if i thought it was gonna go lower dip i did do a few videos about that but yeah i didn't think it was gonna skyrocket like that like pff, craziness but yeah it is what it is so yeah i missed my golden opportunity on buying first sports car hopefully things get a little bit better and scale themselves out and i can get back in hopefully some cars will go on sale because nobody's selling right now and it is what it is so yeah if you like the video like the video if you tired of me rumbling on and want me to shut up <laughs> uh, tell me to shut up and i probably won't but you know it is what it is uh if you want to see what I got planned next, come see what I got planned next. I got a lot of store for the channel. Really want you guys to be there with me. With that said, I'll catch you later.